Hey, it's good to have you back in another unboxing video, this time of the Schumacher Eclipse 5, the new LMP 12 scale car of Schumacher. My name is Robert and I'm going to take you on a tour to see what's inside of this box. So the first thing you see is the brand new box. They've got a new graphic on it, uh, the new chassis is shown and it looks really nice. They've changed the thing. Before they've printed it on the box, this time they have a wrapper around the box. Um, so actually it's a, it's a white box with the parts in it. Um, well, let's open it. And a 12 scale isn't a big car, so it doesn't look like that much. However, there's still a lot in it. Starting with a brand new chassis, um, Schumacher uh, changed the chassis and the chassis has become a bit shorter well a lot shorter than the Eclipse 4 and that's what makes the real big difference it's become a lot shorter on the front it also has become a lot shorter at the back and they also changed another thing um, I engraved the text on it so that's not standard I did it myself that's why it's, this one is already opened uh, but they chamfered the complete edge of the chassis uh, which helps when the car is scraping on the chassis it's a lot shorter, uh, so it will also uh, have less weight, and that's a good point. The Eclipse 4 was a bit on the heavy side. We're seeing the new front suspension. The new front suspension uh, is, looks a little bit like the same, works a lot like the old one. However, it has become shorter, has become lighter, and uh, has become a bit more robust. Uh, really nice, you can change the uh, balls here, so uh, when you get some play, you can change them. Um, it's a nice and rigid part. Then more carbon fiber parts, this time of the pot, the rear pot. Um, the bulkheads have stayed the same. Uh, they're the same of the E4. Um, the underside has changed. They've milled away a lot more carbon so to make it more lightweight. This part also changed uh, because of the length of the rear end of the chassis. Um, and both the upper parts seem to still be the same. Then a new big upgrade, the spool. Um, the spool, the Eclipse 4 already used hex spool, so you need the hex wheels from contact. Um, this is reduces a lot of weight and a lot of rotational mass, um, but it reduced a lot of weight and therefore it was faster. Sometimes there would be some wobbly wheels um, with the old ones, so they've changed the adapters to have a better fit between the wheel and the adapter. Um, there's a new bit of flinch there uh, to have a better touching surface. It's nice to see that you have all the adjustments for your ride height at the rear already put inside of the box. The front bumper, it changed a lot, it become a lot bigger but helps with the chassis scraping. But what is nice is the new Flex 3D printed bumper is also in there. I designed my own for my Eclipse 4 and printed myself with some TPU, but now you don't have to search for an aftermarket part or have to design anything yourself. Schumacher already puts it inside of the box, which is great. Another front end part with the kit springs is the, the hardest springs available, uh, but it's a spring we use quite a lot. Talking about 3D printed parts, the battery stopper, it was made out of carbon. This time they've inserted four positions, 3D printed. Uh, that's a really nice feature. Um, so all the options are already there. Uh, but this is actually a 3D printed part to reduce even more weight. This part doesn't seem to have changed much. It's where the side springs are attached and where the uh, guard for the rear end of the LiPo battery is attached and um, where your body posts are attached. Uh, it seemed to be the same as of the E4, but maybe I'm mistaken. Then the top deck. Um, it's a new top deck because of the smaller, of really shorter front end, uh, but it's still a nice 2.5 mm top deck, uh, which we use quite a lot. Then we have some uh, small parts, the side uh, uh, pull side links are still there. Um, the center pivot is there. Everything to make sure you can steer. So there's already a server saver in the box uh, and everything is there. This time they uh, choose to hang the servo from a carbon part and not mount it on uh, the chassis anymore. And then what I really like about uh, Schumacher is um, they also put in all the oils and greases you need and they have just released a new low strength 
uh, chat log, they also already put it in, which is great. It's a bit uh, less uh, strong uh, compared to the blue one, but this is great for electric cars. Your screws won't come loose and still get loose when you uh, unscrew them with a screwdriver. The tubes, so uh, the center tube and the side tubes, they've already inserted the new big bore side tubes, which is great. It was an option part on the E4 and now it's uh, already common part in the E5. The other part of the center pivot, the blue tread lock also there. So you have two tread locks now, uh, the low strength and then the regular blue tread lock. Uh, different uh, silicon oils for both center, uh, center side and front springs. Bearings and a new plastic front hubs to reduce uh, some weight. Um, these have a, a good friction on the kingpins and is a nice feature. There are just two poly pieces in. I have some extra bushes in here. Not sure why. Um, I think it has to do something with the front bumper. And uh, you see they have uh, some um, double sided electrical tape and the battery mounting system. This box is full. On the bottom you see the new decals, Eclipse 5 decals, always great to have. And nice colorful printed menu. It has a good feel, it's plastic, it's laminated, um, great menu to have. So the new Schumacher Eclipse 5, I can't wait to drive it. Have you ordered yours already?